Hi, my recipe today is my Syrian meatloaf. For that, I'm gonna use minced meat. I'm using the beef, 20% fat. This is 800 grams. And for this amount, I'm using two pieces of tomato, peeled and finely chopped. You can use any kind of meat you like. Parsley, one bunch, also very washed and chopped. Onions, two big onions, and also finely chopped. I'm using the Italian parsley, you can use the American parsley as well. I will need one piece of garlic, crushed. This is bread crumbs, two tablespoons to get tender meat. And I have one tablespoon salt, one tablespoon cinnamon, one tablespoon seven spices, little of paprika or Aleppo pepper for spicy taste, one teaspoon pepper, one teaspoon cumin, and one teaspoon coriander. Let's get started. For now, I'm gonna mix the uh, ingredients all together like kneading. You can use a spoon or you can use your clean hand. Just mix everything. Some people add the uh, egg to that. I don't. It's optional. So now the garlic. And the spices. You can add any other spice you prefer. You can add some oregano, some basil. And mix well. Now for the uh, potato, I will need one kilogram, and I cut it like French fries style. Olive oil, two tablespoons. I need some tomatoes for decoration or garnish, and I will need one teaspoon of paprika for nice color, half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon garlic powder and one teaspoon salt and all the amounts are optional and now the tomato i don't need it right now so set aside and i will start to season my potato like this just toss in the spices give it a nice stir And add the olive oil. You can use uh, vegetable oil. The oil is very delicious and help to give the uh, potato a nice color in the oven. Now I'm um, just putting some uh, aluminum foil around because I want to uh, serve the food in this uh, Pyrex tray so in order to protect the edges not to get burned to keep the the tray nice and clean i'm just adding some protection some people don't like to use foil in cooking you can use the parchment paper instead it will give the same result neat and clean edges for the oven tray So now I'm gonna use my hand to spread the meat in the pan like this. Just give it a nice press. Any thickness you want, you can do thin or thick, up to you. So this tray will be for half the amount only, around 400 grams. So the rest of the amount I'm gonna put in the freezer because this is fresh meat. In case you are using frozen one, don't refreeze it. It's not healthy. 
in that case you have to use the whole thing or you can put it in the fridge not in the freezer for the next day maybe I won't do any design or uh, any shape on the meat because I'm gonna add the potato to the top see this is half the amount because this meat is fresh it could be frozen safely for any other busy day now the potato any amount you can put you can cancel skip the potato but I love it with the meat And here you go. Now let's do some garnish, some very nice addition. The tomatoes. This is nice and looking and also very tasty, you know the like a barbecue whenever you do some barbecue you add some tomato to the skewer or something like that it's the same thing here very delicious with the meat you can skip it because I already have some tomato in the, the meat the mixture I'm just doing some little flowers here and there you can just cut it in like um, circles and just arrange it on the tray any design you can use the cherry tomato as well very simple And for me, I would like some sauce in this plate, so I'm gonna add around one cup of water. If you don't like to use it, that's fine because there is vegetable in the meat and it's juicy enough, but you have to cover it for a while in the oven. Now bake it 200 Celsius. 450 Fahrenheit for around 30 minutes let me show you how this foil was very practical as you can see this brown color the burning it's on the foil not uh, on my tray and now the tasting point It's well done, as you can see, and the potato is soft, but still in shape. This is super delicious. I would like you to try it. Let me know about your opinion. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.